Hey, Mortgage Coach community, Dave Savage here. And today I have Casey Cunningham, the founder and CEO of Zenix. What's up, Casey? Hey, Dave. It's good to see you today. Uh, it's yeah. a great day. It's good to see you. I wish I saw you in person, uh, but I know I'll see you soon at NBA, so that'll all be good. Absolutely. I can't. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So for those that don't know Casey, uh, I don't think there's a lot of folks, a lot of leaders in our industry that have spoken from more podiums, have trained more loan officers than Zenix and Casey. So when I think of Casey, I think of someone that has built processes using the science of training and education to help loan officers become more successful. I think another thing that distinguishes you is you not only do sales training, but you help bring new loan officers you know, to become um, literate, mortgage literate. And, and so Casey, I wanna, I wanna talk about new loan officers, but why don't sure. you just share a little bit about your backstory and then we'll get into the questions. Certainly. Uh, first of all, Dave, thanks so much for having me. And uh, uh, listen, I just love what you're doing for our industry. And uh, we're equally yoked. We got the same values and love to serve others. All right. So quick, quick story, back story. Top producer, mega producer, had just incredible success. And a day in my life, I walked into a room of uh, new LOs, brand new, had never had been in training for I don't know how long. And I asked them some questions they couldn't answer, and a light bulb came on that said, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And I appealed to the executive team to let me make more mini-me's. And I said, I can create other top producers. Uh, of course, at the time, they couldn't afford to pull me out of production and didn't want to pay me. And I said, put me straight commission on their performance of these rookies. They gave me 10, then 12, then 16, then 24, then 40. And then we realized we had a formula that could dominate virtually any market by building new talent. So... I have a passion for building new people, have a proven process, and it is about a process. Um, and if anyone right now, and I'm looking forward to just chatting with you today because there's so many elements of danger that lenders are experiencing if they don't know the formula for success of building newbies. So I've been building them now for 20 years. Uh, I build them under the Zenix brand for the past 15 where we have companies from the West Coast to the East Coast. Uh, I don't believe we have missed a state yet where we are building new people uh, to enter our. Love, love that. So let's let's do this conversation in two parts. Let's one talk. Yeah. What are what are the trends? Because we know we need new blood into the business. You know, what do you see? Like, what is how many people are coming into the business right now? And then where do you where do you think we'll be three and five years from now? And then let's give some practical advice on anybody that's watching it. If you're a newbie, we'll accelerate your success. And if you're a manager, we'll help you lead your team to greater success. So what are your thoughts? Yeah, first thing, we are a really good barometer as to what's going on in the industry. And because we have our new LO program, uh, we can actually see the industry trends as to who's engaging in new LOs and who's not. The first thing I can tell you is that we're gonna be in dire straits if we don't get more lenders uh, on the bo boat, if you will, or on the, the path of building new people. They are retiring and are going to be out of our industry faster than we're bringing in new people. Uh, from a trend standpoint, we are triple, quadruple in enrollment, which is a good trend. But technically, if you look at the numbers coming in and leaving, it's not going to sustain our industry. Now, I say that not to scare anyone, but just to make an awareness that this is not, and this is a big thing from a trend standpoint, when I speak to lenders, Dave, I, this is not an all or nothing. We're not talking about just recruiting new loan officers. We're talking about having a strategy where it combines both. You can do 90% of your sales force or the experienced guys who have a pipeline and take 10% of your sales force right now and say that's the percentage we're going to put in every year of new talent. And then think in 10 years you have a whole new sales force. So I've got to shift the mindset of lenders that this is not an all or nothing, that incrementally you can grow your sales force with new talent, by the way. And I can tell you all the reasons you should today, of course, the energy they bring. Can you imagine you got these young guns and young, by the way, I'm not talking about college kids because everybody thinks that when you think young. I'm talking about 28, 35 year old guys that are married already, have come out of college, have already their second or third career and are looking for us and don't even know we exist. Uh, when I say us, I'm meaning our industry. 
And so from a trend standpoint, everybody's got to get more tuned into new LOs are the future of rebuilding our industry because everybody else is, you know, what's the average age? Everybody talks 50, 54. 54, yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm challenging executives right now to actually do a study on what is their average age. And if it's anything north of 45, they need to get concerned because in 10 years, that 55-year-old is not looking at sustaining his pipeline. He is on the back end of career if he's not going to retire out. So where will you be 10 years from now with your current sales force if you don't build new talent? Perfect. And, uh, so I want to I say something real quick, and then let's transition into some how-tos and some suggestions. So, sure. so by the way, everybody who's watching this, if you're a branch manager, if you're a head of production, another reason, you know, not only sustainable, be better off five years and 10 years from now, is that today we all believe that we could be in the golden age of the mortgage industry, but our loan officers need to level up how they use technology, how they, you know, becoming a modern mortgage professional. And I would just say the branches that I see most successful is where they do have, you know, different ages and and having a couple new loan officers that are killing it will raise the bar for everybody in your branch. Absolutely. So, so it, it's not only do you need the headcount for obvious reasons, but it will help you sales ready your current sales force by bringing new blood into the business. So you guys, if you're watching this, you have to do it. Um, by the way, if you're a branch or a company and you are really investing in the future, um, let, let us know. Casey and I want to know. You can comment below. You're watching this in YouTube. Comment below and let us know what you're doing. We want to we wanna know who the innovators are. So, so Casey, let's, let's transition this conversation to I'm a branch manager, or let's say I'm watching this and I'm a new loan officer. What do I do? And I know you can't you, you give, us, give us a roadmap, and then we'll close out with how people can engage with your organization to ready their sales force. Okay, so here's the quick roadmap. First of all, if I'm a branch manager, there's a formula for success. For every executive listening, there's a formula. Get these three right, and you will win every time. And this is, again, great learnings for me from 20 plus years doing this. One is you got to source them well. So if you're a manager and you're not sure that a new loan officer is the right one, then don't do it. If in doubt, don't. But sourcing is a key component. How do you assess them? How do you ask questions that will determine their long-term success? Do you have some predictable assessments, which we do at Zenix that we've been using? So happy to recommend those to any lender. I don't own them. It is just some that I have been leveraging and found that they've got some predictability. Um, so you know, well, I was I was just, I was just getting ready to tell you your phone's getting ready to fall, but I, I, I was too late. The first one is sourcing. The second one is you got to train them well, right? I've got the right talent. So by the way, if you are a new LO considering our industry. The reality is, is really do the due diligence to make sure this is what you want, because this is a powerful industry. So first thing is sourcing. The second is you got to train them. And I mean, you've got to train them. If the old days of here's a rate sheet, business card, go get them, you know, hope if they make it great, if they don't, there's too much risk right now. First of all, your own time investment is um, incredibly valuable. The last thing you want to do is invest in somebody who's not successful. So you got to train them got to have um, three uh, three elements in your training program, and I'll share those in a moment. And then the third, to be successful as a manager or an executive, is you got to get them into the market quickly, which we call assimilation. So source, train, and assimilate, and you will win every time. So real quick, your camera's getting ready to slip again. While I'm talking, you can get it dialed in. There you uh, go. So, so did, I hope everybody caught that. Really high-level roadmap, really solid roadmap. Also, I want to recommend to anyone that's watching this at Mortgage Coach in our YouTube channel, we have a new loan officer playlist. I'm going to put a link to that below. I'm also going to put this video in our new loan officer playlist. Um, Now, again, this is not going to make them mortgage literate. Uh, I don't want to overplay what's in here. But in terms of learning sales skills and learning things that I wish I would have learned, like, you know, we interviewed Simon Sinek and we talked about the power of why. I would just say that every video in this playlist uh, should be part of every new loan officer's, um, you know, getting ready. And and I would even say if you're watching this and you're a seasoned pro and any of these videos in our playlist haven't been watched, I recommend you watch them because of all the, you know, hundreds of interviews I've done, these are some of the best. So check out our new playlist. Um, Casey, anything from a training perspective, let's talk about that. 
and then let's tell people how they can engage with your organization. But what are you know what are the the milestones of training a new loan officer? Uh, you know, how soon should we put them in the market? You know, where should they be at a year? You know, like what oh. is what is what where should someone be at the end of their first year? Easy answers. All right. The first thing is every training has got to have three things. OK, it's got to have the knowledge they need to be successful. It's got to have the skills they need and it's got to have the disciplines. If you leave any of those three out, then you're exposed. So uh, let's let's equate this to a pilot. All right. Can you imagine a pilot being told to get in a cockpit and take his passengers on a flight and the guy's never been trained? The odds of success are slim to none. So every time, Dave, I talk to a lender who says, I don't believe in rookies or I don't do it, it's because I've never had success. And my question is, what was the training prior to getting in the cockpit? And they'll all say, well, I didn't train them. Well, 90% of us, 90% of the people who got in didn't make it. And the 10% of us who made it, right, that's us, me, I'm one of them who wasn't trained, figured it out. But how many years did it take? Long time. And you're going to lose some incredible talent. You can't say to someone it takes three, five years for you to start making decent money. So uh, so here's the, the process. The first part, and we have modeled, by the way, you'd love this, Dave. My husband's an ex-pilot, right? He Air Force and, and military. And when I built our program, he looked at me because you realize you have, whether you know it or not, modeled the aviation industry. And as he explained it to me, because the first thing is you don't get into a multi-million dollar simulator at Delta Airlines and told just to start flipping switches. You have fundamental ground school. You have the knowledge portion. Well, our ground school program has 55 lessons, 55 quizzes, 10 tests, and an exam before you even start talking to customers and or putting passengers in the back. Well, the, so everybody's got to have what's the fundamental knowledge. The second phase is how do I take that knowledge and apply it to the real world, into case studies, uh, into deal structuring? What do I say to customers? So that whole skills based piece is the simulator. It's literally getting into a branch and flipping switches and doing multiple case studies. Thus, we call, by the way, that flight school at our company, uh, if you, you use our program. So then now I'm in the simulator. I know how to talk to customers. I've deal structured. I have a database I've built as part of the process. So now I passed the big exam. The big exam says I'm ready to put passengers in the back and I'm ready to take flight, but I haven't even built the process of my business. How am I going to go after referral sources? How do I do social media to engage others? That's officer school. Now, a pilot does ground school, gets in the simulator, lots of testing and, and, and handling objections and what they call emergency scenarios. Then they get into a solo flight with an instructor pilot, if you will. That instructor pilot at Xenix is about getting you into the market every single day effectively. Um, so think about the pilot now, his odds of success. I mean, are skyrocketed. He knows how to flip the switches, take care of his passengers, if you will. So that analogy hopefully will help people. Uh, what I'm seeing from a trend is people go, let's just teach them the knowledge. We haven't taught them the other two components. Everybody's trying to still, and I hate to say this, trying to take a shortcut on teaching others and building their business. And so I highly encourage everybody to look at the full formula. All right, so something you asked me, Dave, ready? Ready. You want to, how fast can you get someone in the industry and what can you expect? Okay, so first thing is the training, three weeks. That's ground school. Flight school, how to apply it, deal structuring, two weeks. In the market is right in the middle of flight school, you're in the market. Officer school is four weeks. That means daily prospecting, literally. When I say daily, I mean every single day you have to prospect under a tutelage of our guy. Guess what the average number of applications are coming out of officer school right now? It's, it blew my mind when we did the analysis. What? Four applications first month. Wow. Now, that is, by the way, my last 12-month trend that I have been tracking Year to date, if I just use year to date, not the 12 months, we're at five applications. Solid. It's a solid number, but I think there's this lack of expectancy or people have this major doubt that if top loan officers are struggling, or I'm going to call it average or struggling, these young ones will struggle. And I'm going to tell you, they do what you tell them to do. They don't know bad habits. They aren't going to be distracted by a new guideline change. They think that's the normalcy of our industry. Right. So yeah, I'm going to challenge the industry to start thinking we can build that next era 
And of course, we welcome them to partner with us and let us help them uh, because we're going to take 90% of the burden of training and assimilation away. Love, That's what we do. Love that. So a couple things, everyone. I've, I've done a couple interviews with branch managers in teams where new loan officers, you know, had been mentored by top producers. I'm going to put a, at least one of those links below. But, but Casey, anyone that wants to engage with ZenX, learn more about how you ready new loan officers, how can they get in touch with you and uh, where should they start? Certainly. First of all, thank you so much for the time, Dave. Obviously, I'm passionate about our industry and want to help serve it. And that's what we exist for, to help the newbie, to the experienced guide, to the leaders. Uh, www.zenix.com. You can put the link to my website that down below. That'd be great. Down below. Uh, Right. I'll put originate. I'll give you the originator um, information, which is the name of the new LO program that it talks about all three phases. They can do that or simply just visit our website. But uh, uh, to get a hold of us and there's an easy way. Our phone number is all over our website. So reach out to us directly. Good. Well, I, I am a big fan. I love how much focus and the science of training that you're putting into getting new loan officers into the business and rapidly successful. So thank you, Casey. Let's keep this conversation going. I, I would love to invite you to one of our Tuesday interviews. So let's have you on a Tuesday interview coming up. I will also put the link to that below because I know Casey and I will get something on the calendar and uh, we'll have a bigger conversation. In that conversation, let's, let's talk about new loan officers, but also let's talk about taking people from struggling into a core producer because because i think too often you know we're only shining a light on either the the mega producer or the superstar but when you yeah. and i do our next call let's let's say okay here's how to get someone from zero to sustainable and let's mm -hmm. get someone from struggling to sustainable and let's just do a whole call on that love it love it thank you dave so much have a great day and thanks for having me all right thank you everybody hey last thought everybody if you like this like it and please share it, you know, help Casey and I get the word out to your, forward it to your manager, forward it to your CEO, and together, let's bring new loan officers into the business. Take care, everybody.